Hi guys, this is a video on how I did the Aurora nail. Um, disclaimer, this is my first video ever. Um, I've never made a how-to video, so forgive any clunkiness or mistakes in editing. And also, um, I've only been doing DIY nail for about six months. And I've only been doing builder gel application in the past month, month and a half. So my builder gel application is definitely not the best out there. And I've just been playing around, having fun, and figuring out how to do stuff. And so I just wanted to share the process of how I did mine. Again, forgive any mistakes, uh, but I hope you can take something out of this and, you know, have fun. Have fun with it, right? And so enjoy. So this is the box that I used that I purchased from Amazon. I'm going to do my middle finger and my ring finger um, with one of these transparent blue and pink one. I'm not going to use the top ones that are not transparent because I don't know you just can't see what's below it. So one of these transparent one would work for these. Now what I am doing is I'm going to use the pink one for my middle finger which will have the same effect as my thumb. Um, and so, and I'm going to use the blue one for my ring finger. So what I'm going to do now is struggling to cut these pieces and make it into the same, almost like the same shape as the nail that I have. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, this took me a long time because I was having a hard time cutting. Uh, the pieces and maybe it's because I don't have the right scissor with me. I tried to find my cuticle scissor couldn't find it so and it was late at night so I'm just yeah I, I was just using whatever I could and so once you guys are on this step if you find an easier way to do this please 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 let me know um, comment or share a video of how you did yours and yeah okay but basically i want these pieces to be a little bit like about one millimeter smaller um or half a millimeter smaller than my actual nail so it kind of just outlines um or it just fills in the nail so I did most of the middle finger, which was the pink paper, off camera simply because I had a hard time um, getting it to the right size and to the right shape. Um, but once I got it done, it was pretty straightforward, right? This part was the hardest thing to do. So now that I have the two little pieces cut out, um, now I'm going to go into builder gel application and again my builder gel application is really clunky So if you guys have feedback or videos on how I could apply this easier, please feel free to share The product I'm going to be using the first one is I'm going to be using model one's builder gel It is soak off you do need a UV LED lamp um, and as for the glitter I'm using two for my ring finger I'm gonna be using the sequin um, glitter which is pretty much chunky glitter from a cart and I got this off of Amazon you know and it's a two-in-one where you get both the chunky glitter and you get the fine glitter okay but they're pretty much just silver holographic glitter and they're really pretty. I love the shine and I'm definitely gonna be using this for my birthday set Okay, and so but any any silver holographic glitter that looks like that will do for this project For the top coat, I'm gonna be using um, two the first one is the Jin B Gracia Crazy Top Thick, which was what I used for my thumb. Um, I love it because you can build an apex. On my ring finger, I'm going to be using the Vanilisa Gel Top Coat, which is your regular gel top coat, you, you know, UV LED gel top coat. 
Now, on natural nail, I put Sally Hansen 7 in 1 um, complete treatment. You can get it at Walgreen. It makes the wound work really well. Once that dries, um, then I use the oomt peel base on top of that and I let it dry. I use one or two coat, it doesn't matter. Um, and then once that dries, then I use the Jello Jello peel off base gel. Now the Jello Jello peel off base gel is something that you cure so you don't have to wait for it to dry. I love it because it it is easy to remove but at the same time I get it to last for like about four to six days when I do this properly. And so um, once you put on the peel off base gel then you can cure it and then after you cure it then we go to the glitter and the builder gel application. Okay, so now we're getting to the fun part, which is the glitter, builder gel, and aura paper application, right? Once your base gel is cured, go ahead and pour over the glitter and then do some cuticle cleanup, cleanup like you would be using a, you know, dip powder. Um, and then once you've poured the glitter and did the cuticle cleanup, then go ahead and put some more base gel so that way um, your builder gel have something to adhere to. And after the base gel, you just cure for 60 seconds. Then we're going to get into the Aura Paper application. Next, we're getting into the Aura Paper um, application. Basically, the middle finger is um, going to be the same effect as my thumb. We're going to use the Jinbi Top Coat Thick, um, which was what I use. But if you don't have that, the ring finger um, is going to be, you know, builder gel and regular to gel top coat to use for the apex. So that way, if you don't have the Jinbi, you'll be able to do it still. Now for the middle finger, I'm going to be using the pink paper, which was what I used for the thumb. Um, I'm wiping it just so that it's smooth, right? Getting rid of the dust. And so the way I did it is I just lay it on top of the builder gel. And then I pick it up using a tweezer, wipe off excess builder gel if you could. And once that's done, you just put it on top of the finger where you want it to be. And then um, use the tweezer or cuticle stick to lay it. And if it's too thick or if it's too much builder gel, then you could use the cuticle um, to get rid of it. And I also use a liner brush to get rid of excess builder gel and make it neat. Pretty much just a cleanup. And once you're done with the cleanup, go ahead and curl it. And then, you know, you're going to do base gel again. Then you'll do the top coat. Okay. And then after this, I'm going to talk to you about what happens if you don't have the Jinbi top coat. Um, you could just use builder gel. So we'll do that on my ring finger. So the second way that I've seen people lay the Aurora paper is they put the builder gel on top of the nail first and then they just put the Aurora um, paper on top of the builder gel that's already on the nail. So that's what I'm going to do on here. And so right now what I'm doing is just putting your normal builder gel application, right? Um, you want to make sure it's leveled and it covers everything. Um, I like a thinner builder gel, so that's what I'm doing, right? I'm making sure that I like how it looks. Um, there's no bumps and that they're leveling quick, uh, very well. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed with this, so it took me a minute. Once you like how it's shape, okay, don't cure it yet. You want to put the Aura paper on top of it. And then after you put the Aura paper on top of it, just like what I did with the middle finger, you know, adhere it and, uh, and kind of flatten it out. 
um, make sure there's no bubble or there's no gap between the Aurora paper and the builder gel. I use the cuticle stick or, you know, tweezer or both. And then I also use the liner, uh, the liner brush if I needed to smooth out the builder gel or if I needed to add a little bit of builder gel on the side. Once you like how the paper look, go ahead and cure for 60 seconds and just put another, uh, some more base gel on top of the Aura paper so that way your top coat and or you know the next layer of builder gel have something to adhere to right because the paper doesn't have anything sticky for it. And then once you do that, you're building more Apex on top of it, you top coat, you cure and you're done so i'm gonna let you watch this um because i am running out of voice and i'm getting sick so and i hope you guys have enjoyed this um feel free to comment and share your feedback feedback is always welcome but be nice please <laughs> um so yeah you guys have a great day um have a great weekend I may post another video of my birthday set if they end up looking good. Alright, thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.